Welcome to our 73rd Amuna class in the wonderful studio of Rav Shalom Arish. We are honoured today to have Sheffer in the house, all the way from Spart, the Sheffers pouring down. We have the full band in the studio, but two of our fellow Sheffer, Sheffer, Sheffer band, please introduce yourself. Shlomo Menachem Lebowitz from Tzfat. It's a schos to be here in the holy city of Yerushalayim, Holy Yedin, and uh, thank you for having us on. Yeah. Pleasure. The guitarist has walked in, and the drummer's in the corner there. And what's your name, brother? I'm Shalom Yeshua, and it is such an honor and a schos to be able to play music with my older brother and my younger brother and some soul brothers as well. Yes. It's really such in an incredible corner, honor. We got the whole crew here, amazing. So we're really excited to go ahead. We're going to have a beautiful edited version coming out live. Please, God, what's the name of the song that we recorded? The Shame Yichud. Made sense. The Shame Yichud. Unification. Yes. Unification. About unification. Yeah. And we're going to bring that, hopefully, to you on all our platforms. We also still have the Ari Lesser song in the works for Be Here Now. Yeah. That was a cool song. We did a nice recorded version. It's going to have a lot of effects. And hopefully you guys also... Uh, when we go live tonight, it's going to be a shorter version because we kept Rav Dinell good around and the team uh, a bit longer than we usually do because we really made sure that the quality of the music and also the band had to be rocking it out nefesh but nefesh. Is that right? True story. Amazing. Yeah. But the Ashkacha Divine Providence is the Nissan Black wasn't able to make the festival this year One Flame. There was a request. Ari Lesser filled in. Is that right? So he was by us last Sunday and here this next Sunday, the continuation from the Fire from Lagboma before we get to Shavuos. We have the Sheffer in the house. Amazing. Yeah, so well, let's sure. go. We're dedicating this class to the band Sheffer Band, the wonderful brothers here, the Leibowitz brothers, and our friend Simcha Eckhaus, who came special. We also dedicate the class to the legacy of Rav Zechariah Wallerstein, Havda Ben Chaim Lachaim. We welcome all our guests to the Holy Land and all our online friends there at Israel. We wish blessings to everyone in our Muna staff, the Rav. Should be with Shefa and Brocha and Rafua. The Kabbalah Satoria brings all the good energy that we need. Amazing. We should also get rid of all these forms of corona, this monkey pox, all this silliness <laughs> should go away. Yeah. And please God, Rav Sholom Arish Ben Yemna should have a full Rafua Shlema. Anyone else who needs Rafua should have Rafua. And these are also classes at Elevation to Pure Soul of Gedalia. We had a wonderful class with his wife. Uh, Alicia uh, Fenster joined Gedalia for the first time. We just put it up on our platforms. Hope everyone's happy with it. Gedalia's son, Yerachmo, Daniel, and Gedalia, wonderful child who unfortunately left the world young. We dedicate to his pure soul. We appreciate your dedication to our Muna classes, to the Rav's teachings. We wish everyone a good week, a happy preps. Now we're already po- uh, coming up to Rosh Chodesh Sivan. Everyone should be saying, please God, the Tefillah Sashla and Shavuot. This sh- Motzi Shabbat already this week. Healthy, energized spring to summer days. We're now in between time, thank God. Weather-wise, Svera with Amuna, share Amuna Global All. That's always our biggest feeler. Get Amuna to the world. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. that's the key to Shefa. <laughs> okay, thank you, everyone, for joining us. We're going to have the feedback now. Thank you for the advice of tackling challenges. This is what someone wrote last week's class of Dinel <coughs> and Ari Lesser did an amazing job. By breaking them into smaller steps. Break your challenges into smaller steps. This is what someone wrote. What an amazing class, full of powerful lyrics, positive energy, and gratitude. Great feedback. Another one. Testify. Nissen Black, Lady Robin song, Lifted. They loved it. They put fire. We did that here in the studio. You can check out the new um, Nissen Black video, the full official one, and Ari Lesser's one coming soon. Be here now. Awesome. So talented, Baruch Hashem, Ari Lesser's flow. We also have good news to Mir Goodman. We shared uh, one of his posts. We hope to, I'm going to be speaking with him hopefully soon, a famous basketball player, the Jewish Michael Jordan is known as. We love you, Rav Shalom Orish. Thank you so much for your wisdom. Gedalia's class, um, 25. That was when Gedalia joined us by Zoom in the studio. Someone else wrote, Shalom Ari, holy brother. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ari. This is such an utter blessing. My family and I would be so much happier for all this uplifting, joyful rhymes. This is pure joy, hearts, emojis, all that stuff. Baruch Hashem on this was such a blessing. Baruch Hashem, lots of love. Another person wrote, Johnny Depp. He would feature here. <laughs> Actually, I sent someone up to Moran to pray for him, for Johannes and Depp. Yeah? It's not important now. You are lifted. It was great. They wrote that he's not important, that we are important. Lifted was great. You're better. 
better start sharing that video. You should have a basket to place all your phones in each time you're with your family. That was in comment to, to my recent class last week, Ellie Goldsmith's class. Shalom Ravosh, Todar Abba for sharing your excellent videos. That was in reference to Gedalia and his wife's new vid. And that's it. Thank you, Hashem, everyone. You're giving us, our team, a lot of encouragement. I've done God for giving us times, waiting around for the class to get going, to lead this and all the previous classes. Thank you, Hashem, for these classes and our guests. Such special energy. Let's do a little song before we begin with the Rav. He's going to help us get ready for Shavuos. Shavuos of Dine Algon in the house. Yes. Ashley, and, and, by, and by the way, waiting for the Shefa band. Bezrat Hashem, we'll all have Shefa. Amen. 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 Say it. Yes. Shefa Rav, Bechol Oilamis. Amen. Yes. It was meant to be this time. Let's go. Check out Sheffer Band online on all the platforms and we're good to, you know, follow them, make them their name big in the world. And you can reach out for bookings also. We're just trying to make the Abishu's name big in the world. Don't look at us. Just allow us to so, point your way upward. You can use us as a way to yeah. follow us. It, it's all about bringing Simcha to the Yidin. That's like my favorite thing to do. Bring Simcha to Yidin. That's, I had a good day. Baruch Hashem, we're able to do this. Welcome.
power Every day, every minute, and every single hour You know you got to rise up and not cower Cause you got the power Oh yeah, yeah, yeah You got a spark inside It's a piece of the divine light Just access it and you will find Your inefficient little kiss is really flying Oh, wherever we go, you're never alone. Get in the zone. I said, he no never do. Wherever you go, you know you're never alone. Get in the zone. You know, Milvado, wherever we go, you're never alone. Get in the zone. He no never do. Wherever you go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Believe in yourself. It's a big rule over here. If I'm in our classes, we're going to go now to Rev Dine Our Good and we'll come back to Chef before we round off the show. It's like we said, it's a shorter one because we've rocked it out before we started. This is the question. Our hearts are broken by the devastation and the loss of innocent lives in Uvalde, Texas. Our condolences and prayers go out to all the families who have lost beautiful young souls as well as the children, families, children, the most horrific episode. Hashem, be with the parents, husbands of the victims. This is so horrific. Help everyone in this terrible situation. So this, we got some prayer feedback. May Hashem comfort the families and strengthen all of us during this, during this trying time. We are coming towards receiving the Torah. This is Rabbi e. Orish asked to put this out there. A gift the whole world can gain from. We will bring more peace to parents, children, all communities. Let's share the Torah values of peace to help humanity be saved from any more tragedies. I don't know if this is a question or more of a statement, but either way, it fits perfectly what Rav Dinelg is going to help us understand Shavuot, and hopefully it will bring only good news. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Ellie. First of all, beautiful music, the Shefa Band. I love the song. It's very nice. Thank Believe you. in yourself. It's so important. Yitzchak Avinu tells us in the Torah, that there's no God-fearing. There's no Yeras Shemaim in this place, and therefore I, I could be killed. This is a very important concept. Our Torah is a Torah of peace. All of its paths are paths of peace. Yiddishkeit and Judaism is all about shalom. Shalom between us as people. Shalom between us and between our Heavenly Father. Such atrocities as what happened in Texas, such behavior is something that represents that the person who did it is a person who had no emuna, no faith, no yirat shamayim. He didn't fear God. He didn't fear anything. This is an act of terrorism. This is an act of murder. This is an act of madness. And this is what happens when people don't have emuna, when people don't have Torah, where people don't have spiritual values. Now, we saw this manifesting in Texas in an extreme way, where someone can take a gun and shoot and kill 19 innocent people. But it can happen on a daily basis. It can happen when a person is driving in his car and someone happens to bypass him and they'll start hooting and honking and try to scream and shout and curse. This is what happens when you don't have a Muna. Because when you have a Muna, when you have the Torah values, you know that everything is from Hashem. Everything is from above. You take everything and you try to take it peacefully and happily, knowing this is exactly what Hashem wants. The world is round and everything is the way it should be. So we can only learn from this situation in Texas how important it is to strengthen our Torah values and Emunah, especially before the upcoming Chag of Shavuos. Amazing, amazing. We're going to share with our wonderful guests the uh, Garden of Emunah books. We have, Baruch Hashem, the pamphlets of loving, 
um, people. And we also remind everyone that we have um, the full series of the Garden of Moon. I actually have almost the whole thing inside this bag here. <coughs> and we have a lot of the books here on the table. We have in Hebrew, we have the uh, Garden, of Moon, Garden of Moon in Hebrew and the latest book, as you've seen many times. There we have a nice one in English, thanks to the studio. It's all good. Baruch Hashem, everything's here. So our wonderful guests can take back with them to Svat and also to our Yushalayim friend as well, to wherever he's going. And the main point is it's increasing love and amuna in the world. And remind you, we can get the set right now on a very discounted price, the full set of all the Garden Amuna books. But our guests, because they're doing a service for us, they have to pay anything. <laughs> we get it free. Anyway, check it out, brezlev.com. It's on the site, on our platforms. And keep following and sharing Amuna Global so we can get out of these difficult moments. And we'd like to go back to the rab before we round off the class. Can you please speak about Shavuot and help us get ready for it, please? Shavuos is an incredible hug. I mean, there's so many beautiful things about Shavuos. We read in Shavuos Megillat Rut, where we can we learn about Rut, the convert who converted to Yiddishkeit, and it, she, it was such an important conversion. She became the great grandmother of King David, of David Hamelech, who he is, his family. That is the lineage of all the kings of Amisrol. And Melech HaMashiach, the Messiah that we hope will come every single day and redeem us from the Golas and bring peace and love to the world. The Messiah is one of his descendants, the Mashiach. Melech David Malka Mashiach. We stay awake all night learning the Holy Torah. We accept the Holy Torah again and you. One should know that all this, all of our sages, and Rabbi Chaim Vital spoke about this very intensely. On the day of Shavuos, this is an opening. The sky opens and we're there again at that incredible event that happened more than 3,000 years ago and we accept the Torah back anew. Now, there are so many things to say about Shavuos. I'd like to just concentrate about one small point. There are many people who see things in the Torah and our Torah is such a beautiful Torah. It encompasses all the aspects of life. But there are many things in the Torah which are called chukah, rules, things that we don't understand. And there are some people who have questions. Why do I have to do this? Why do I have to do that? They start questioning. They start putting in their own opinions into the whole aspect of Torah. They start diverting from what the Torah wants. And the question is, why does it have to be this way? First of all, I heard once a beautiful, beautiful sentence from one of my rabbeim, Rab Shlomo Volbe, a blessed memory. He said that no one wants to worship a God that you can understand. Because if you can understand him, then what's the difference between you and him? The difference might be a difference in quantity, not in quality. If I can understand you, that means that we can relate on the same level. So I can argue with you, I can disagree with you. There have to be things in the Torah that we don't understand. But I'd like to give a beautiful parable of Hofetz Chaim gave. Imagine now a small city somewhere in Europe that suddenly they, they get these big notices are hung up on the main doors of the city hall saying that the king himself is going to come and visit that city in two months' time. Of course, everyone is excited. Everyone is preparing. The whole city is cleaned up. Days before the king is supposed to come to this extremely special ceremony, people are already sitting there catching places. They don't want to miss this incredible event. And then the day comes, the king comes, and everyone, of course, respects him and stands in awe. And is ab abs they're all absolutely, they, be they can't believe that they had this chus, that the king is going to be coming to their city. And then the king says to them, my beloved, darling subjects, you know how much I love you. You know how much I care about you. I came here specially from my city, from my throne. I'm coming to give you a letter. I'm coming to give you a document with several instructions I'd like you to keep. For example, what do I want you to do? Every time you walk by a river, I'd like you to stop and look into the waters of the river. Every time you see a tree, I'd like you to go and touch the tree. And so on, all these instructions. After the king leaves, some of the people in the city start going, what, what does the king want from us? What, he came all the way here to tell us all these weird things. What, every single time I stop by a river, I'm supposed to look into the waters of the river. Every time I walk by a tree, I'm supposed to touch the tree. Forget it, that's not for me. And then one of the clever men of the city gets up and he says, listen, you all know how the king's time is so dear to him, how scarce his time is. If he made the effort to come here and to give us a special letter with instructions, that means it's very important for us, even though we don't understand it. If the king commanded, we shouldn't ask questions. My brothers and my sisters, thousands of years ago, 
the king came to our city. There was an incredible elevated event called Ma'amar Sinai, where Hashem came to Mount Sinai and gave us his letter. He gave us a document called the Holy Torah. And in it we have 613 instructions the king asked us to keep on a daily basis. There are many things that we don't understand. That doesn't mean anything. Even though you don't understand, if the king bothered himself to come down here to this earthly realm and to give us those instructions, that just shows us how dear they are to him and how dear they should be to us. And I think maybe that's one of the most important lessons of Shavuos. Let us decide today that we love Hashem. We love the Torah. We want to be part of Hashem's Torah. We will love the Torah. We will keep the Torah. We will be part of the Torah. And thus, we'll be, be, we will be part of Hashem. Amen. 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 Wow. Beautiful. What amazing words. <clears throat> and everybody special again. Don't take for granted that we have his involvement. We ask you again to keep in being in part of our programming. We'd love to bring some wonderful guests after Shavuot. We will not be having a class this coming Sunday. We're all going to be rocking the cheesecake. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. And hopefully some learning too. And we'll have, hopefully, Dr. Benjamin... Let's, let's change the order around, okay? Yeah. Learning. Learning, and then the cheesecake. And hopefully rocking the cheesecake. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Thank God for the rabbi, otherwise, you know, I get a bit lost. So we have the Baruch Hashem, the blessing of having, maybe, we hope, Dr. Benjamin Epstein living in the present fits last week's wonderful class perfectly of being here now. And also, we've been speaking to Rudy Rochman and some other wonderful guests who want to come. Yosef Daniel, who was meant to be may be here and he'll have to come Baruch Hashem, another week during that time so there's a lot of p- potential amazing Amuna classes ahead it's up to you guys to keep partnering you've got amunalive.com go there share the link get this band wonderful chef out there we want to, any words before we jam off the last song from our fellow wonderful guests sure you yes. know just in regards to what the rabbi is saying in whether we understand it or not this is what Hashem is asking us to do and if we want to forge that relationship, I'm not forging a relationship if I only do what I, what I understand you want from me, and I'm just serving my own mayach, serving my own intellect. But here we could really, really engage in a relationship with Hashem. And a few minutes ago, before we went live, we were learning some Chumash. And in this week's Parsha, multiple times, it says, Al pi Hashem. Al pi Hashem. Why does it keep repeating Al pi Hashem? It was, it was Hashem's directive. Because Moshe was the Raya Neman, he was the Eved Neman. And even though he was the greatest, greatest Torah scholar, the greatest Talmud Chacham, he's not like, well, Hashem had it this way, but like, I really know how we're meant to do it. It's like, no, Hashem gave it to me like this. Let me, let me try to step into that space. And as we were discussing, we're all human. I myself am not, not at the place I, I, even I in want spot? to be yet. Especially, <laughs> especially in spot. Such a holy, holy, high yeah. place. Amish. Yeah. But, but as, as Simcha and I were discussing, we're saying if I'm not somewhere yet, I don't have to make a new Torah that this is the right this is the right new standard. Just be honest with my process. I'm not there yet and I'm really working towards it. And I really, really want to step into that space. Because that's the PSM, that's the Devar Hashem. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Amazing. That's the whole Torah of Bittel. Wow. That's all of Bittel. And now yourself. Mm-hmm. I once heard from one of my teachers and mentors, what is the worst word in Yiddishkeit? Bittel. No. Aval. 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 Aval, Aval. Aval means bat. In other words, you say, yes, I agree with everything, but I have a different opinion of this and maybe this. And he said that aval are the same letters of evel, of mourning. Because when you start saying aval, when you start saying, yes, but maybe not, maybe this, you're ruining everything. That is a disaster. It just starts with one little word. Let's not do that. Let's be connected to Hashem, connected to the Torah, and you will see how many blessings we will all get through this. Amen. 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 I mean, so we'll dedicate the last song to the full healing of Rav Shalom Ben Yemna. We really hope to make a tour in November. It's really up to everyone davening and partnering. You can reach out to me. We'd love to come to New York City. It's nothing confirmed, but it, with tefillahs, it can happen. Is that correct? Um, everything can happen to the power prayer. Oh, maybe Mashiach will come and everyone will come back to you, Shalom, and when you come here. Thank you. Let's go ahead with Shefa. Check them out. Thank you, our team. Let's end off the class with the Shepherd Band rocking it out. Yes, and you know, by the way, that there are many that say that the Leibowitz family is a Levim. Well, I don't know whether you're Levim or not. You might find that when Mashiach comes. And that means you're going to have a position playing in Besamikdash. Yeah. Get ready. Yeah. Get prepared. 
Yeah, and you'll be washing my hands sooner than you think. <laughs> ah, okay, he's a Cohen. <laughs> we have the Levine and the Cohen in these well. Afram. He's I'll, I'll even take the feet. Okay. <laughs> wow, I can't wait. Give me a massage. Hamish. Hamish, may there be so much peace in the entire world. And may everyone have inner shlemos so that the whole world can come to a state of healing. Amen. We peace in Yerushalayim, peace in the Holy Land, peace on every corner. Third Amuna class, so much, the Shefa yeah. band coming special from Spa and our drama yeah. dude from Yushalayim and the Rav himself. Thank you very much. Rav. Yeah. Everyone Thank be blessed. You. Have I a great like, week and no, a good Yom too. I'd just like to end with one last thing. Today's a special day. Today is Yom Yushalayim. 55 oh. years ago, Yushalayim was united. Today is also the Yod site of Shmuel Hanovi. Now, one of the most unique things, Yushalayim, the name Yushalayim comes from the word Sholom, peace. Shmuel Hanovi, his goal in life was to crown Am Yisrael's king, Saul, and then King David, the whole lineage towards Melech HaMashiach. Our whole goal is the goal of Shalom. David HaMelech said, Ani Shalom Daber. I am peace. This is what I speak about. The whole Torah is about peace. This is our aspiration. Global peace, where everyone knows Hashem, where everyone is at peace with everyone. And that's why we end every single prayer and every single davening with Sim Shalom, or Se Shalom Bim 
We only speak about Sholem. The Mishnah ends at the end of Maseches Uktzin with about the Sholem, what an incredible vessel it is to hold all the blessings in the world. And this is what we'd like to wish you and everyone around for Shavuos. May we have true universal peace amongst us and peace between us and our Heavenly Father. Amen. 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 Wow. Just a name. Bash him to him again quickly. Na 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 na. It's your side. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Ha la la ya la 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 ya la 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 la. Boom! Na na ya la la ya la la la. Shafa 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 na 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 na. Bash him to. Thank you.